waking up to howling dingoes at Watumba Creek. Beautiful spot on the inside of Fraser Island, one of my favourite places. I'd come up for a couple of days solo fishing, targeting the little black marlin that turn up this time of year. So it was straight into it, see how we go. One of the great things about fishing off Watumba Creek is you don't have to go very far before you find all the tuna schools this time of year. <laughs> so that was first cast. Wow. Nice school. The main target is longtail tuna. This turned out to be a big mac tuna. Great species to catch on light tackle, but no good to eat. Sharks are a real problem up here too, so you gotta fish pretty heavy on your drag. I decided to keep this one because I wanted some uh, burly do a bit of shark fishing later on. Yeah! You! <laughs> right, time to go marlin fishing. So what makes this fishery so amazing and unique in the world really is that the little blacks come right along the edge here in the shallow water. That's a guide there and a couple other trailer boats for working the area. And there seemed to be a lot of turtle activity. Those two were mating. Sorry to disturb them. <laughs> Thought we'd have a lunch break and uh, go in and eat some oysters off that wreck. And believe it or not, I've actually had little marlin swim past while I've been having lunch anchored right there. I love it. There's an actual little shark there. <laughs> well, I assume he won't bite. Never disappoint. Well, that's all you need. A dozen oysters, beautiful. And that way we're leaving some for everyone else. That drop off you can see, the color change in the water, that's the edge you troll for the little blacks. So because the uh, marlin fishing was pretty quiet, I thought I'd have a shark fish off Rooney Point. Righto, this is my shark rig, works pretty well. Um, just a mullet. So basically that's it. Shark grabs it, hopefully woofs it down head first. You come tight on it, circle hooks, hook them in the corner. Well, you know things are quiet when you can't catch a shark at Rooney Point. So it was back to some marlin fishing as I worked my way back to Watumba Creek. Basically, target marlin all the way down to Watumba Creek from Rooney Point. I've had mates catch them right out the front of Watumba Creek, and it happened this week as well. Got him on. But with so many birds working, I couldn't help myself, so I brought all the gear in and did a bit more casting, catching some little bonito this time. That's what they are. I figured 
with all these bait schools around, there's got to be some sharks lurking below. So I had another go at a shark fish before I went into the creek for the evening. But it wasn't to be. The big bull sharks just didn't seem to be there today. Just lots of little sharks that were attacking my bait. It's one thing to get the weather, which is obviously anything out of the east is best. But if you can time it so you got the high tides in the morning and evening, that makes for a much better option getting in and out of the creek. So, day two, another beautiful day. It's time to have some brekkie, get out of the creek and go and do it all again. Hopefully find a little black marlin today. recently fitted a Garmin autopilot to my boat too, which has just changed my world for solo trolling. Yeah, there's something feeding on those flying fish. And just the fact that you get flying fish in these shallow conditions is amazing. Here was a dolphin with her calf playing with a sweet lip. I stopped for lunch again and the things that swim by are amazing. This was a manta ray. So I went ashore, stretched my legs, and I saw what looked like some coffee rock. I thought it was coffee rock. Wow. It's just a spray jacket full of sand. <laughs> How freaky. <laughs> the brand is missing at sea. Would have been nice to put it in the bin, but I couldn't budge it. Crack up. Solid with sand. Oh, sand flies everywhere. Gotta go. Short lived. Bring in here we go. This was exciting. Initially, I thought they were a little black marlin, but I think they were uh, kingfish. Instead of filming, I should have been casting a lure. So again, the marlin fishing was very quiet for the afternoon, so I headed back into the creek and had a swim, took some nice pictures, and then got ready for some friends of mine who were coming down. They'd just been out blue marlin fishing off the outside of Fraser. They promised me a nice meal of fresh reef fish, a few sunset drinks. Sounded too good to refuse.
Yeah, so Mike's a long-term customer of Professional Boat Care. We've had some great trips together on that boat. This is another view of Watumba. <laughs> Thanks for having me out for a drink and dinner, Mike. Oh, you're most welcome. We fished cans together a couple of years ago. Thank you, boys. Can you just pass me the Lewis? Uh, oh, yeah. The snubber on? Always nice to admire our polish work on his boat. And my little boat for that matter, that's a 17 year old runabout. Beautiful, best shower I've ever had at Watumba, Mike. Thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> and now fresh reef fish for dinner, eh? With chips. With chips. <laughs> yeah, this looks a bit better than my uh, sausages. <laughs> but it was an early night because you've got to get back in before the tide drops too much. Another glorious day to head home. I mentioned earlier about catching little black marlin in front of Watumba. So just when I got back to the boat ramp, Mike texted me to say they just caught a little black after they got the anchor up. It's an incredible, incredible place. Thanks for watching. Cheers.